you dinosaurs so it's been a little while since I posted a video and why is that let's just say I got a little lazy and a little boy crazy which is what this video is all about everyone has that friend in their group who is completely boy obsessed she gets a boyfriend and disappears or when she's single she always complains about not having a boyfriend and is constantly going on dates and looking for someone else to complete her no one wants to be that girl and when you do realize you're that girl you're kind of hit in the face with that realization and after breaking up with my last boyfriend I realized that I turned into that boy obsessed girl shit after breaking up with my last boyfriend I got pretty depressed I stopped making YouTube videos and I got into a cycle of just wanting to date someone just wanting someone to like me and being in a relationship and wanting to be loved and then I realized that everything I was doing was completely wrong if I wanted to get into a relationship with someone if you really want to be with someone you got to focus on you you got to stop caring about being with someone to be with someone I know that sounds ironic but it's true I feel like this is something everyone's mom tells them, but you can't love someone else until you love yourself. And I was not in a good place after that breakup. I was not focusing on my own passions, my own dreams, my own goals. I was focusing on trying to be with someone else. And that's not healthy, that's not smart, and that's not going to make you happy in the long run. What's going to make you happy in the long run is focusing on your bigger goals other than being in a relationship. because. A relationship will come once you're succeeding in all other aspects in your life. You don't have to make dating your priority because people will see when you're doing a good job with other things in your life, your career and everything else, and people will be attracted to the fact that you have other things going on in your life besides just your partner and that's the best way to get yourself into a relationship, not looking for one. So what advice do I have for you boy crazy girls out there? Fuck. Get some good dick. No, uh, the first step is accepting the fact that you're the boy crazy girl in your group. You've gotta notice that you're neglecting your friends and notice that you're not focusing on your goals anymore and only thinking about boys for you to actually realize that there's a problem because if you don't see a problem, then there's nothing to fix. Step two is to create some boundaries. Talk to your partner and discuss what you want from your relationship and what they want from their relationship and try to come to some sort of compromise. You should never have to sacrifice your own happiness to make your partner happy because that's not a very good relationship. Step three is become a gold digger. Stop focusing on boys all the time and start focusing on your goals, girl. No one's gonna help you achieve your dreams except for yourself. So if you want something in life, whether it's money, a job, a dog, a kid, whatever you need in your life, you can get all of that by yourself. Do not focus on anyone else trying to bring your goals to you because no one is gonna hand you it on a silver platter. If you want something in this world, you gotta work for it and you gotta take it. And being with a man is not gonna really help you make $100,000 a year. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, the best things in life come when you're not looking for them. Step four is to think about the future. Do you really want to be with this person when you're old and getting married and having kids? Do you want this person in your life forever or are there things about them that really get under your skin? Do they never cover their mouth when they cough? Do they leave the door open when they pee? Do they give you a dirty look when you sip soup? What's wrong about them? Because nobody is perfect and everyone has a flaw. And if you can get over their flaws and the good outweighs the bad, then that's a good relationship. But if there's a lot of bad things about them, then maybe you're kind of wasting your time doing something that's not gonna work in the long run. Step five is to give yourself a makeover. This works especially well if you're going through a breakup, but it's just good to give yourself a little bit of self-care and self-love. Give yourself some new fake nails, dye your hair, get some boob implants, do whatever you have to do to feel beautiful, girl. Cause at the end of the day, it's your your body and you should be happy with how you look so if a makeover makes you feel a little better doesn't hurt to do one and when you look good on the outside you tend to feel pretty good on the inside too step number six which is my final tip of advice is try to change one thing in your day every single day so try to listen to different music a new workout routine walk a different way to school find new youtubers to watch just different things to change up your day because if you're doing the exact same thing every single day and have the same routine it's gonna be really easy for you to think about the person you're obsessing about and that's not good because the more you think about the person you're obsessing about the more you're feeding that obsession so try to change something small in your day every single day and hopefully that'll help you be a little less boy crazy I'm still working on this myself guys so if you have any suggestions on how to be less boy crazy be sure to leave them in the comments down below I will definitely read them and use them in my own life also like this video if it helped you in any way and be sure to subscribe to my channel to become a dinosaur and join the dino family I hope you guys all have a great day bye dinosaurs Rawr.